creating art. Creating art is all about creativity. We need to know how to create things out of our own hearts, out of our own given talents or skills that God has given us. Remember, God is a creator himself. Now, I am here to introduce you this art of creating. Okay, here at Kampala Junior Schools, we always teach creative art in things. So our theme today is my home. My home. So this is our theme today. My home. What is a home? My home. A home is a place where people live. There are three, there are a number of homes. There are only three, because I have only three here. But we have a bungalow, that is one type of a home. We have a flat, we have a hut, we have a tent, we have an igloo. An igloo is a home of people called Eskimos. That one is very, very far away in other lands where it is not in this, country, in this continent, Africa very very far away in different continents but these huts they are always found in villages if you have got an opportunity to go in the villages you will find a hut grandmothers and grandfathers usually live in huts and flats I guess most of you live in, in flats and some of you live in bungalows now those are pictures of different homes this is a bungalow which was made by one of our students and this is a flat our children have been taught how to make homes from from local materials and this is a hut remember i told you that a hut is found very very far away in the villages and our grandparents live in those places those homes now I want to introduce to you, I would like to introduce to you the rooms found in our homes. There are different rooms found in our home. First of all, I'm going to introduce to you a sitting room. This is our sitting room. The sitting room has a number of contents, all things found in a sitting room. This is a sofa set, as you can see. People who live at home, like mommy, daddy, sister and brother, live, uh, can sit in such places. Let me show you the pictures of the people who live at home. At home, we find Daddy. At home, we find Mommy. At home, we find Sister. And at home, we find Brother. These people live at home. Uh, when I go back to the sitting room, when I go back to the sitting room, the sofa is a place where the people who live at home sit. You can choose to sit here, you can choose to sit here, or sit here. In the sitting room, we have a table. In the sitting room, we have a radio. In the sitting room, we have Usually on a table, that is where daddy places his phone. This is daddy's, daddy's phone. Okay. And you know what? In a sitting room, there are etiquette that you have to practice when, in, when you are in a sitting room. When you are in a sitting room, maybe you are watching TV and you get tired. Most of the people have a habit of sleeping in the sofas. That sofa 
may act for some people as a bed, but it's not a bed. There is a place for that, there is a place for sleeping. But in a sitting room, the only activity done there is sitting there. It is a room for visitors, it is a room which welcomes everyone who comes in a home. Okay, guess you have got what a sitting room is all about. Now, we have a dining in a home. In a home, we have a dining. Take a look at this. This is our dining set. In this family, there are six people. That's why they made a dining for six people. These are chairs where they sit to eat their food. These are the chairs. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. The dining also has its own etiquette. When you are in a dining children, you are supposed to respect the dining. You find the chairs like this, when mommy has arranged them very well, or auntie, because they are the ones who do this work at home, please use it and leave it as you found it. You found it like this, when you come to dine in the dining room, you have to pull the chair like this, you pull the chair like this, you pull the chair like this, and then you sit. When you sit at the dining, our friend is here, When you sit at the dining, you use everything that you found there. This is a salt shaker, this is a bowl, these are plates. Please use them. After using them, you know where to take the things. Thank the auntie, thank the mommy who has given you the food, and take the things to the kitchen. After using this dining, you move away. arrange the dining chairs. I was telling you that you're supposed to put back the chairs as you found them. After feeding, you put them back as you found them. Yes, and you leave our table, dining table, well organized and the chairs so that the next person who uses it finds it clean well organized. Now, when we are in the dining, please listen to this. It's very, very important. When we are at the dining, we are not supposed to talk while we are eating. If you have put food in your mouth, you are busy eating. Then someone calls you and you open your mouth loud. And you start saying, yes, 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 no. Finish what you're eating, swallow it, finish eating it, and then you say, Yes, mommy, yes, daddy. Then that will be very good manners. It's not good to eat while you're eating because when you're eating and you talk, food can come out of your mouth and it goes into your neighbor's food. And that will be bad food because it is not good to have someone's food fall into your food also. That was our dining. Next, we are going to the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have these items. We have a saucepan, kettle. We have cups. We, we find there a water dispenser. These two taps. One of them is for hot water and another one is for cold water. In the kitchen we have cooking oil. We use uh, cooking oil to fry our sauce. We fry items like this, uh, tomato, green pepper, onion, and we also mix stuff like this, curry powder, to make very nice sauce. And we also have this item called the grater. When you want to grate, this is 
how you do it. Now, this is a knife. Sorry, I didn't tell you. This is the knife. I've cut the cucumber and I'm going to show you how to grate. This is how we grate when we are in the kitchen. When you need to grate, this is what we do. Great, great now. Right. We have this. This is called a mingling stick. If you are mingling uh, oshol, if you are frying some spices for a sauce, this is what you use. Always. There is a beautiful song that I remember that we always do in our school. Mommy in the kitchen. Please repeat after me. Mommy in the kitchen, cooking chapati, I love chapati, yum yum yum, Ooh, and this is a fry pan, we usually use this to fry our chapatis, we usually use it to fry the egg, and fry all sorts of things, a pancake, whatever you want to use a fry pan for can help us to fry. Um, we usually have this in the kitchen. This is a flask. This is a small one. This is a big one. You can use this for water and you can use this for milk. This is very, very important. This is a matchbox. When you are in the kitchen, you need this. Without this, you can never have food because you need a, a matchbox to kindle the fire. Maybe you're using gas, maybe you're using a uh, uh, charcoal stove, whatever you're using, you need this. This is a matchbox. It kindles the fire. But you need to be very careful with this kitchen, with this, uh, with this matchbox in the kitchen. Because if you do not, uh, if you do not stop this thing from burning, it can burn your house if you just throw it anyhow. It can fall on a piece of paper and then the wind blows it, catches fire and burn the whole house. So that is our kitchen. I'm going to the next room. Before I go to the next room, can you please join me to sing a beautiful song called Home Again. Shall I see my home again? When shall I see my little sister? I'll never forget my home. Home again, home again. When shall I see my home again? When shall I see I 
little bird answered, Mom is not here. Mom is at home. So all those rhymes are talking about a home. And the mummies are found at home. The bird told this young girl who was crying that mummy is found at home. A bedroom. This is our bedroom. In a bedroom, we find things like the bed sheets and the bed itself. So this is a picture of a bed, a bedroom. And this is a bed, as you can see. We can see there are pillow pillowcases or cushions. There is there is a bed cover. They're very nice bed sheets. And I know in some homes they have mosquito nets because they don't want to be um, to be bitten by mosquitoes to get malaria. So that is our bed. <laughs> We have the bathroom and the toilet. This thing, these two rooms, they work hand in hand. Some people call them washrooms. So in the bathroom, we find soap. This is a picture of soap. But we have soap here. This is a soap. Soap. And this is a soap dish. So, uh, a, a soap dish in the bathroom and we use it to bathe. This is a sponge. We use this sponge together with the sponge. This is how we use it. We also put some water and we bathe our bodies just like this. This is how we scrub. I wash my body, I wash my body, I wash my body. This is the way I wash my body. All the time. So this is some sponge. And these are slippers. We have slippers. You need slippers when you are in the bathroom. Because after bathing, you will have a lot of water on you and you can slide. Especially if you're home made out of tiles, the floor is made out of tiles, it is very easy for you to slide and hurt yourself. So these slippers are very, very important. In the bathroom, we have, we have this. This is called a shower. It helps you to bathe. You just, you just turn it around and you shower. After scrubbing yourself with a sponge, putting uh, soap on the sponge, you just stand there and you show and you just be fine. Some people use this. This is called, this is called a bathtub. You also need to, oh, I'm sorry. This is a bathtub. You, you switch on the water, the water will come, you just sleep there and you, you bathe, you, you clean yourself with soap and a sponge, you turn it on and you just enjoy the bath in a bathtub. And after you have cleaned yourself in the bathroom, you need this, you need a towel. A towel is for us to dry our bodies. So you will dry yourself and just be clean and you continue. Now, as I told you, the toilet and the bathroom, they are related. Our toilet, this is a toilet, that is the place where we go to ease. 
we need to learn the toilet manners. When you finish using the toilet, children, please clean the toilet. Make sure that you use the things that you found there to clean the toilet very well. Look at this. Someone is cleaning the toilet. Someone is using a toilet brush to clean the toilet. Please, if you find there is no water in the toilet, talk to your auntie, talk to your mommy, or the person taking care of you to help you get water and clean the toilet. Or you ask them, please, auntie, can you help me with the water? I clean the toilet. Or can you please help me to clean the toilet after using it? And don't just leave the toilet for them just like that. And in the toilet, uh, this was just a picture, but I have the real brush here that cleans the toilet. This is called a toilet brush, and this is where it sits. These are called potties. I have some potties here for girls and potties for boys. And when you finish using the potty, this is how we clean our potty. You get some water and you clean the potty like this. You don't touch there with your hands. You clean the potty just like this. You get some water and then you pour it out in the toilet, inside the toilet. After cleaning, cleaning it up with soap and water, you put back this thing back here. This is where it sits. Those are our potties. Well, well, now children, I think I can just go through the, the rooms that I've just told you about. First of all, I talked about our sitting room. Then I talked about our dining. And I talked about our beautiful kitchen. I love the kitchen so much. It has nice things. Whenever I go to the kitchen, I come back when I'm satisfied. Then I talked about the bedroom because it's a place where I go and I have rest. Then I talked about the bathroom and the toilet, a place where I go and I ease myself. Okay. Now, as I wind up with my lesson, children, I want to teach you an activity. Everyone say activity. Yes. There are some activities that we can do while we are at home. Remember I told you this is creative art. We need to learn how to create. This is the activity that we are going to have. We are going to make a doll out of banana fibers. You see this ball? This ball was made by a child. Yes, one of you in my class has made this doll, this ball. And it is very nice because we use it to play in the compound. Okay. Now I am going to make a doll. And these are papers. These are called banana fibers. They are the ones I'm going to use to make. And this is a scissor. Please, parents out there, the children are not in school, and you can help your child to have an activity. It is very important for the child to be skilled in some things because skills are very, very important. They will need them when they have grown. Okay, we are going to make a doll. I make a doll as I sing my song. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his hat and his bag. And he knocked at the door with the rat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He 
Save Miss Polly, put her strength to bed. He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning, yes I will, will, will. I'll be Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his hat and his bell and he knocked at the door with a rap, tap, tap. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly put her strength to bed. He rolled on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning, yes I will, will, will. I'll be back in the morning if the doll is still ill. It's my doll. This is going to be Daddy, I'm making Daddy. This is Daddy. This is making Daddy. Daddy looks nice. So, this time round, I know you have so many toys at home. You always ask mommy for a new doll in the supermarket. But please find something to do at home by your own hands. Who gave you beautiful hands? You can create something. That's why I'm creating something. I'm creating, I'm making this doll so that we can all learn how to make a doll by our own hands so that we can save some of mommy or daddy's money from going to the supermarket and we make our own toys and play at home as we help our aunties and mummies to do work yes i'm creating with my own hands that it's a doll Okay, now children, this is a doll. I have made a doll out of my own hands. God gave me hands. I have five fingers beside. Five fingers beside. I can make something from my own hands. This is being creative. So you can also create by your own hands. God gave you your own hands. You can use them to create something. You can make a doll. You can make a ball. You can make ropes. If you want to skip, you can make ropes. You can make ropes like this. Those children who like skipping the rope, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. I can use my legs. If you don't have someone to help you, you can just do this. See, if you don't have money, if you ask mommy for the money and she doesn't have the money to buy for you a rope, you just go behind the backyard and get a rope and get banana fibers, you wet them, you put them in some water and you wet them so that they can, they can be twisted like this. Now I'm making a rope. Wow! You can make it longer and longer than this. Then you call your brother and sister or cousins and you play together because the more we play together the happier we can be so this is my rope yeah you 
can make a rope by my hands. Wow, wow, wow. So there are so many things that we can make out of banana fibers. But I just showed you these ones so that you can also create with your own hands. Now it can, become, it can be longer, but this is what I have managed to show you today. A rope, a doll, and a bowl. I love you all, I miss you all, but I know that one day we shall meet again. Please stay safe and take care of your brother and sister and the little baby out there when you're at home. See you then next time in another thing. Bye-bye.